So Elizabeth, I do support and believe in the federated model, a hybrid model, so that you don't have the silos reinventing the wheel. And I actually go back, so this is very much before your time, but one of the first books I wrote, Successful BI, I had the privilege of interviewing Eric Coulson and Andrew Dempsey, who were at Netflix at the time. At the time that Netflix was just starting the streaming business. And so there was this debate on how to organize. And it was the first time the centralized team said, we need different resources between the DVD team and the streaming business unit, different technologies. But you use the word having adequate resources. And I don't know any data leader that feels that they have adequate resources to meet all the competing <laughs> requirements. Is it about ruthless prioritization or do you really have all the resources you want? That's a very fair point. It's never quite adequate. I would always advocate for more, but I also see my role as a leader at Netflix in financial responsibility and making sure that we don't feel like we need to scale the data and insights organization bigger and bigger and bigger every year, that we also do some hard work to prioritize. I think if we're doing our jobs well, there's always going to be a greater demand for the skills on my team than we can possibly deliver to the business. And we are squarely there every day. There's somebody asking me, why can't we have more dedicated for this, that, or the other thing? And I, I think part of my role with all my partners is to say, if we want more there, where are we going to do less in order to actually make sure we're thinking about what projects and efforts and investments are highest impact to the business? And it, it's something I take very seriously as part of my role of just a constant evaluation of does this still seem like the return on a resourcing investment makes sense given the impact it can drive? And my whole team thinks that way which is the other amazing thing about Netflix culture. It's not just like I sit here thinking, should we move people around? People at every level of the organization are thinking, am I working on the most impactful thing I could be working on right now? And they feel that same pull from partners saying, can we have more here? And then we all have to ask ourselves, well, if we did that, would that be higher impact for the business than what we're already doing? And I think the more everyone on the team feels that responsibility, the better, but it, you know, it's easier said than done when you feel like you're getting pulled in a lot of directions. <laughs>